Hey YouTube, it's Marita and welcome to another show of the Nurse Lounge. You have seen this look probably about three, four, five, seven times now because today is recording day. So um, today we are talking about trusting other nurses. Should I trust other nurses? If you wanna see what I'm talking about, please stay tuned. back my name is dr marita p i am a registered nurse i've been a nurse for 16 years i am an ob gyn well baby nursery nurse i am a uh, associate professor i teach at hbcu and i am doctorally prepared so with all that being said let's talk right about trusting other nurses should you be in the habit of trusting other nurses and the short of it is no that's the short of it and I'm going to give you a few reasons why. And this, this video is really more so for my new grads, but of course the information applies to our nursing school plus new grads, pre-nursing. I guess really applies to anybody because sometimes you may feel like, you know, that you do, you do have a trusting personality that you are someone who trusts pretty much everyone. But I want to tell you, I wouldn't say not to trust them. I would say you, you need to verify everything. And I, 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 I want to emphasize that you need to verify everything. So I wouldn't say that you don't trust them, but you want to check to see what they say is correct. And why is that important? Several reasons. It's multifaceted, to be honest with you. And the reasons being are because sometimes nurses are out to sabotage you on purpose. So you would think, who would do something like that? Well, when you all wake up and come to the real world to know that the real world is not meant for everybody to, to, to move on, there's people out there who hate you for no other reason than they have no, nothing else to do. They hate you because you're doing better than them. Whatever the reasons why they hate you. They're haters is what I'm trying to say. Haters don't ever want to see you succeed. They want to see you fail. They want to see you get in trouble. They want to see your demise of your, your career. Okay? That's the way the world works. With that being said, you only you always verify everything. So I'm not saying you don't trust people, but you verify. Because at the end of the day, when you go sign off on something... You can't say nurse such and such said X, Y, and Z because the lawyer is going to be like, well, what did you assess? What did you find out? What did you, what did you see? Or what did, whatever. It's your license on the line at this point. So trust, but verify. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Trust, but verify. And I often use this analogy with my nursing students. The nursing student will come to me and said, and say, well, I just asked the nurse and she said that the patient, um, let me think of an example. She said that the patient's pain was a zero type of thing. And I asked the student, so, okay, so, so you're going to document that the nurse said that the patient's pain is a zero? Well, yeah, because that's what she said, the nurse said. I said, okay, so what if that patient said their pain was a five? So I said, what I want you to go do right now is go ask the patient yourself, what is her pain score? So that said student goes off and goes and, you know, asks the patient. She comes back like, oh my gosh, the patient just told me her pain was a five. I'm like, yeah, see there? That's why you don't, you don't do anything that anybody else tells you to do. You verify everything first. So you don't document what another nurse says, because if that's the case, she can document it herself, right? A nurse can document that the patient said the patient was, the pain was a zero. She don't need to tell you to go do it. So you need to verify everything. So... We're talking about pain. You may say, oh, that's not a big deal. She says pain zero, pain five. That is a big deal because pain five, a pain of a five is a treatable pain. Pain of a zero means you don't have is the absence of pain. So yeah, that is a big deal because then who's going to blame? Who's going to be in the blame when the patient's in pain? Well, the nursing student was truly accountable be the nursing student because she just went and charted what another nurse said. So here's another analogy. Y'all know I'm big on analogies. You all go to the store, right? And you are at checkout and you purchase something that costs $11. And you don't have exact change, so you give them a $20 bill. Well, if you do your math correct, you should be getting $9 back because 20 minus 11 is nine. So the cashier hands you some money back 
my question to you is, do you count the money or do you just put it in your wallet because you trust that she gave you the exact amount back, he or she? Well, I don't know about you, but I count the money. Not because I don't think they're being not truthful. It's because I want to verify that you say it's $9 and I agree that it's a $9 before I put it in my wallet, before I put it in my purse. So trust, but verify. That's what I mean by that. Because how many times have you all went and they thought they gave you $9? I mean, yeah, but they actually only gave you seven and you appear like, okay, $5 and you appear, you know, rubbing on $1 bills. Like, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm only seeing two more ones here. Where are my other two ones? And, and they're like, I, I just know I gave you $9. I only have $7. Trust, but verify. So again, some people are, are meant to just kind of set you up for failure and not in the cashier situation. I'm just saying that was my, maybe just an honest mistake. And again, nurses are human which means humans make mistakes correct correct trust but verify you have these nurses out here who only want to see you fail they purposely throw you under the bus you have nurses who the information they got was from another nurse because they never verified it themselves i have gotten report plenty of times i've gotten report plenty of times where the nurse has told me my patient's fundus was one below because that's what the nurse before them said they never went to do an assessment on their own they're just reporting to me the report that they got from another nurse and i'm like okay so i write that down on my little you know documentation paper or whatever i'm taking a report on but then when that patient comes over i verify myself to see if she truly is one below and lo and behold she three above meaning she needs to go to the bathroom to go pee probably because of the fact that her bladder is full now, if I was just to trust that situation because the nurse said she was one below because that's what she heard from another nurse who don't know telling how long ago that assessment was done. And I document the same thing. My patient has a postpartum hemorrhage because her bladder is full because we didn't empty her bladder. That's going to be on me. Not those three or two nurses before me because I'm the one who's assumed responsibility or care for this patient at this point in time. So I, I want to help you understand that you have to be mindful that trust but verify me i don't trust nobody i don't trust nobody i don't trust nobody meaning i go verify everything for myself okay now if what you happen to say ends up to be correct well great that means you get a, a little notch in my in my in my book to say okay you know what her assessments seem to be on point when she gives me a report but then you have people out there who every time they give a report and some of y'all are just gonna know who i'm talking about or people that i'm talking about because every every unit has one Every time you get a report from a certain nurse, you be like, you might as well, you know, just, just even save your report because I know ain't nothing she's saying or he's saying correct, okay? That's the kind of people I'm talking about. So I don't go into report thinking that every nurse is going to give me accurate information because they may or may not. Some nurses are really good about doing a, a great head-to-toe assessment. I have come behind nurses who, uh, who, where the patient has told me, I haven't seen my nurse the entire shift. I have had a patient, matter of fact, I had a patient who... Um, we, we do what's called, it's called a pico dressing. And so basically it's a mini wound back. It's a miniature wound back. And in that mini wound back, it pulls, you know, all the excess blood from the incision site, from the cesarean section site, from the incisional site. And the, the nurse had told me that she had no drainage on her dressing. The pico uh, dressing was working just fine. There's, it was suctioning just fine. There are no issues. There's no drainage. There's no nothing. And lo and behold, she goes home. It's time for me to come in and do my assessment on this patient. The woman did have a pendulous belly. So I go to lift up her, her belly and her dressing is saturated from tip to tip. Blood coming out from underneath the dressing itself. Which tells me if that nurse had actually did her assessment, she would have seen that. Because that didn't happen in just a couple hours. That happened over a period of time. So when that patient told me that nurse hadn't seen her the whole night or at least didn't look at the incision at all, I believe the patient because that dressing looked as such. My point to you is trust if you choose, but verify. Me personally, I don't trust nobody. Like I just told you, I verify everything. When pharmacy comes to me and they want me to sign off on these hydrocodones that they got in this bag because they're about to put it in the, in the, in the um, pixies. When they want me to sign off on this stuff, I don't just sign my initials and get it back to them. Nope. I take everything out the pack. 
I say, okay, you said it's supposed to be 10 hydrocodone. Okay, hydrocodone, I make sure it says hydrocodone on the back of it. And I make sure we have 10 tablets. Then I give it back and I sign off on everything. Because if I don't count for myself and verify that it's hydrocodone and we have a discrepancy in narcotics, guess who got to come up now and do a blood, got to do a, a drug test? Marie ain't got time for no drug test, especially on some nonsense that you all messed up on. I verify everything with everybody. When it comes to a doctor's order, the doctor better had told me themselves to do X, Y, and Z. I do not go off of what anybody say. I always make sure that I do or verify with doctor's orders. It's something else I tell my nursing students. The nursing student will come back and say, oh, nurse such and such said to go ahead and pull the patient's IV. I said, oh, okay, so nurses give orders now. Well, no, doctors give orders. Right, but you tell me what the nurse said. So the nurse was trying to be helpful for sure and telling the students what they needed to do. But that's not the concern. The concern is the, the student had the mentality that let me go do it because the nurse said to do it. Well, I just assume you don't assume nothing in nursing. You assume nothing in nursing. You go verify yourself. So that's something I teach my students. Okay, I know the nurse told you to do X, Y, and Z, but unless you have an order for it, you don't do X, Y, and Z. So then that, that prompts them to say, okay, well, let's go look at the order. Because I need my students to start thinking about we take orders from physicians. We don't take orders from other nurses. And so, again, trust but verify. We, uh, we all are too, too, I don't say naive. We are too gullible. We're too accepting of what people tell us. People, people, nurses ain't trying to be your friend. Now, I will tell you this. Collectively, as a, as a nurse, as a nursing population, collectively, we will stand behind one another even though we hate one another. Don't you talk about a nurse with a whole group of us, the three, four billion of us, however many it is of us, we will collectively come at you. However, I do not trust anything that anybody say because for one, you never know when somebody's going to sabotage you. Number two, you don't even know if the person who gave you a report actually did an assessment on the patient. Number three, when it comes down to it, you are the one responsible for that patient at this point in time. And because that you are responsible for that patient, if something was to go down, it's going down on you. It's not where you can sit there and say, well, Nurse Sally said da 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 da. Well, Nurse Sally is not the one who's taking care of the patient right now. It's you who's taking care of the patient. So trust if you choose, but verify is the message of this video. If you have any questions per usual, let's chat in the comments. Dr. Marita P, thank you for watching my, my video. Please, please follow me on IG if you choose to do so. And until the next time, you all take care. Bye-bye.